We are blessed with a plethora of talent this afternoon. A plethora of talent. I, I'm almost turning into that bloke from the good old days. But I want you to welcome the next performer up here. She's remarkable. She, like everyone here, is performing at the Fringe. Please welcome the wonderful Zoe Lyons. Hello. Oh, I am performing at the Fringe. Nice to perform for an audience for a change. <laughs> This is great, I'm gonna protest every day. I thought, I thought I'd start off by playing a little bit of music. I probably can't actually hear that, which I should have thought through more, but there you go. I, uh, it dawned on me the other day, I don't, know whether, I don't know whether you're into sports. Lesbians into sports, come on, must happen. Yeah, yeah well done girl, well done. I, uh, I was watching the sports over in Russia and I don't know whether anybody saw this, but a particular pole vaulter, uh, Yelena Isambayeva, came out and suggested that by being homosexual, I was indeed not normal. They were her words, uh, not normal. I, I just wondered what she considered to be. Here he comes. Oh, can you hear him? A little bit of Tchaikovsky, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of Tchaikovsky, because I did wonder what Yelena considered a normal Russian. Uh, would it be Putin, as Colin said, stripped to his waist, picking Pike out of a river? Or would it indeed be a, a Russian genius like Tchaikovsky? Would that be considered a normal Russian? A normal gay genius Russian? Thank you very much. I don't know whether he'd be accepted into Putin's society these days. God knows Swan would be killed instantly by a crossbow. Uh, but I did, I, I did, I take offense at being called. Um, not normal by a woman who was chosen to make a career out of running a crash mat with a giant toothpick. It, it just offended me. I'm sorry it did. Uh, I have been with my partner, my girlfriend, for, for 15 years, ladies and gentlemen. It's what I, I'm most proud of in my life. Um, I imagine it's considered a non-traditional relationship because it's actually four years longer than an average marriage, so... <laughs> And if this is the sort of relationship that so frightens Russia at the moment, then count me in, because we are so boring as a relationship. We, really, we haven't even changed our, our energy supplier in the last five years. That's how, that's how dull we are. Is it a normal relationship? Is it hell? Of course it's not. I've yet to meet a normal relationship. My girlfriend had to cut me out of my own anorak last week. Hardly a normal relationship. But we are very, very much in love, and that's all that matters. We had a civil partnership six years ago. It was a beautiful affair, it really was. I'll be honest with you, we didn't think things through properly when we were campaigning for civil partnerships because I thought it was my, my wedding day in my mind. I thought, I'm going to make an effort. I'm going to make an effort. I am going to make an effort. I hadn't banked on the fact that my girlfriend was going to make more of an effort. <laughs> We didn't think that through as a problem, did we? Just two women turning up on their wedding day. I was stood there going, I wanted to be the princess! <laughs> oh, Russia, why are you doing this? I love vodka, it's killing me. I'm gonna have to drink gin until you change your mind, quite frankly. I'm not fond of gin. I do like a drink being here at the Fringe. I've been drinking perhaps a little bit too much every now and again. It dawned on me I was probably consuming a bit too much the other day when I got up, turned to my girlfriend and went, Woo, that's a very nice breakfast wine. Not normal. <laughs> not normal, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm lucky enough I live in Brighton, which is a, a city. Yeah. Woo, Brighton girl. Yeah. It, it does produce that sort of response, doesn't it? But, woo! I love it. We're very lucky to live there because I'm, we are largely accepted where we live and that is such a privilege and, and a, a, a basic human right and I'm very, very happy for that. I, uh, and I, I've got a lot of gay friends down there and the thing that strikes me living in Brighton with a lot of gay friends is we're all different. We're all different. Gay is such a big umbrella. We are all so different and we all have different things to bring. I, you know, people assume because I'm a lesbian that I'm a vegetarian. Does anybody else get this? In the room, do people, do you get that? Yeah. Are you a vegetarian? Good girl. Good girl. I'm not. I'll eat if it's still alive. You see, that's the thing. I don't mind the vegetarians. Honestly, my darling, it's the vegetarians who want to squash their vegetarian food into meat-based products. They're the ones I don't fully understand. The veggie burgers, veggie bangers. I think to myself, no, sorry, if you don't want the meat, you can't have the shapes. But there we go. We've all got our cut-off point. Go home, listen to some Tchaikovsky. If you can say it properly, Tchaikovsky. I've been Zoe. Enjoy yourselves. Take care. Thank you so much for coming out. Lions!